Well, I am looking forward to meeting some of Jenny's sorority sisters. I'm about to show them some of New York's finest. Oh, good, then I guess you won't care that Laney's bringing a plus one. Who? Um, I don't know, she just RSVP'd plus one. How can, how can she already have a boyfriend? We just broke up. Don't worry, Espo, I'm going alone. So if the sorority girls don't work out, I'll dance with you. Two hotel clerks saw a white lady with long red hair hurrying out shortly after birthday suit hit the fruit. All right, see if you can get a better description from those clerks, and let's set up a canvas. we got to find that woman. Antonio, can you refrigerate these samples in the van, please? Is this the guy? Hmm? Mr. Plus One. Hey, Beckett! Found the room! Eighth floor! Okay! Pull her phone records? Nah, what's the point? We already have her at the hotel with a victim. Not her. Laney. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna go to your wedding without knowing who this guy is. Ginny has to find out for the place cards. I'll get you his name. Okay. Mossad is famous for poisoning. Yeah, big time. Castle may not be that far off with his Jason Bourne theory. Uniforms are tracking her down now. Ah, Ginny just texted me Laney's plus one. Name is Toby Lang. What? <laughs> Toby. All right. Let's check this punk out. Doctor Toby Lang? The guy's the chief administrator at St. Samuel's Hospital. Big job. Laney did a residency there, didn't she? Yeah. Good looking guy. Played college hoops at Kentucky? Groundbreaking cancer researcher? Are you kidding me? Put me down for plus one. Jenny already did the tables. What about her sorority sisters? Dude, I'm not showing up solo when she's bringing Captain America over here. Okay, I'll talk to Jenny, but her mom is gonna need a name for that place card. Esposito. 